Hi Shik fans, let's try another mating exercise. This seems to be a realistic position. If you look at how the pieces are set up, the king, knight, and lance, it is likely to occur in the real game. Now, easiest way is to have uh, two goals, of course. This one is simple. Two consecutive goals on the head. Too simple, so... How about a rook and a gold? Well, if you drop a gold to 2c, it ends up in no mate, so be careful. The right way is to drop a rook to uh, 4b, and it doesn't matter what he blocks it with, it's just gold in the head, and checkmate. Alright, now let's try two rooks. First you make a rook check from 5b. If it's on 4b, it won't be a mate. See? So he has to be one step further on 5b. And let's say he blocks it with a silver. Now rook drop to 2c. And now what? Now is this knight sack to 4c on promote. The king cannot run, so he'll take it by the silver. The rook promotes upper to 2b. And checkmate. And if the blocking piece was a gold, gold block, it's gonna be a similar line. And only the last move is different. Dragon to 3b checkmate. Okay, now. Let's try gold, silver, and bishop. Now, uh, if you simply drop a gold to 2c, actually it's no mate. Silver drop, but the king can escape. It's no mate. And also, uh, if you drop a silver to 2c, this way it's a gold on the head, but he can escape to 1c, and once again it's no mate. So in the first position, you have to find a beautiful move here. You see it? Well, if you can see it, you're very strong. It's bishop sack to 1c. Now, if he takes with a king, it's gold on the belly and checkmate. And if he takes it with a knight or lance, now this 1c square is blocked. So now he can drop the silver to 2c. The king can't escape to this way. So, it's a simple checkmate. Alright. Let's try gold, silver, knight, and a lance. The first move is this lance check. King 3a. And then... You sacrifice this silver to 3b. He can't get away. So he'll take the silver. But then knight drop to 4d. King 4b. And you drop a gold. Either to 4c or uh, 5b. Would be earlier. Uh, because this knight check. And checkmate. Okay, now let's try uh, three silvers and one rook. Well, 
Well, once again, you have to find another beautiful sacrifice in the first move. Well, it's a similar one. A silver sack to 1c. Uh, if the king takes it, rook to 2c. And now what? You sacrifice the silver again to 1c and let the knight take it and drop your last silver to the new available square 2a and checkmate. So uh, after you made the first move, oh, you already know taking with the Naira Lance is gonna be a mate by a uh, silver drop. And uh, rook drop here and checkmate. So uh, in the second move, king will fall to 3a. Now what? Yes, once again the silver sack to 3b. If he tries to go away, a simple checkmate. So uh, the king will have to take it. And then rook drop to 2b. King 4a and silver to 5b. King moves to 3a. And then knight to 4c on promote and checkmate. Alright, so that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.